about the open mic local comedy and other credit. I was in Los Angeles recently at the Netflix's Joke Fest, and not one of those comedians pantomimed childbirth on stage. <laughs> Give it up for Tambu, everybody. <laughs> my name's Max, I'm 27 years old. My hairline's entering its early 40s. <laughs> I'm at, it's at a point where it's aging faster than I am. I'm at the stage of my life where the cashier at the grocery store is questioning whether or not the food I'm buying is for me or for a child. You know, is he really gonna eat these four boxes of Captain Crunch and cheese sticks this week? <laughs> You're goddamn right. <laughs> I've been eating Captain Crunch every day since I was a kid. It's either fucked. <laughs> I currently use prescription toothpaste. <laughs> Up until two weeks ago, I didn't know you could get prescription toothpaste. <laughs> I do go to the gym though, I started going to Planet Fitness recently. Can we get a shout out for Planet Fitness? It's more than what that place deserves. <laughs> Listen, I, picked, I know there's a lot of gym options out there, but I picked Planet Fitness because they have weekly pizza parties. Genuinely. Every Sunday when I go to the gym for my once a week workout, <laughs> I can also get a slice. If you ask it politely, they'll hang it in front of you on the treadmill. Have you run a little fast? <laughs> you gotta watch out for the grease leaf. Make it a little slippy. I was at the gym today, though, and I saw a pregnant woman, and she was doing squats. I thought that was bold. Because the baby might fall out. You get it? <laughs> right on the floor. You get it. She gets it. I started going to the gym, though, because I realized I needed to lose a little bit of weight, because I was having sex the other day. And I thought I was doing a good job. I thought I was keeping pace, doing what I needed to do. And she said, I think we should stop. I said, why? She said, well, Max, you're wheezing. <laughs> I don't have asthma. <laughs> and I said, no, I'm still having fun, even if I can't breathe. <laughs> but I went to the doctor. I said, doc, is everything all right? And he said, well, Max, I would tell you that you're well nourished with the soft midsection. And that's the thing, when the doctor politely tells you you're fat, you need to go to the gym, he said, I would also classify you as pre-diabetic. I was like, doc, I didn't really think there was a pre-section of that. I thought you were either just diabetic, or you weren't, or you were dead. But I kind of, at, at an early stage of my life, I knew I was never gonna be a hot guy doing hot guy shit, like Robert Pattinson and Batman, that's a hot guy doing hot guy shit. Michael Keaton and Batman, that's a hot guy doing hot guy shit. Christian Bale and Batman, that's a hot guy doing hot guy shit. Ben Affleck, not so much. If you couldn't tell, my level of attractiveness in men is Batman through the years. But I knew, like, I faked an orgasm once to eat fried chicken sooner. Like, I know where I stand. As you can tell, I'm very tall. I'm six and a half feet tall. Wow! Did it all on my own. <laughs> but with great height comes great back pain. And I go to the chiropractor. I like going to the chiropractors because you can't really tell why they're a doctor. You know? Like they do stuff, they fix you, but what do they really do? But I started going to a new chiropractor recently, and during the pre interview session, you know, she said, Max. Are you vaccinated? And I said, yes. And I said, are you? And she said, I'm on the fence. And I, like, if you're vaccinated or not vaccinated, that's your own business, but pick a fucking side. <laughs> We're three years into this. Have an opinion. <laughs> and I said, you know, I said, you know, why, what are your quarrels with the vaccine? She said, well, I'm afraid of the nanobots. Exactly. <laughs> So I dove into that. She said, I'm afraid that the nanobots are gonna take over and control us. And I was like, I don't have a 401k. I barely have medical insurance. And I'm pretty fucking poor. So if someone else wants to take over, <laughs> let them. But I know, um, I, I go on walks, because I know if I lose a little bit of weight, my back would probably feel a lot better. So I started going on walks. Some of my friends were like, Max, you should get a dog. A dog is a good way to go on walks. I 
can't afford the dog, and apparently it's inappropriate to go to the park and take other people's dogs. <laughs> I grew up around cats. We had a cat growing up. One of his eyes didn't work. He was partially blind in his left eye, so you could say the cat had a catastrophic cataract. <laughs> my other cat, my cat died the other day, a few years ago. I was working as a teacher at the time, and I went to work, and my coworker saw me all sad and said, hey, Max, you know what happened? I said, oh, my cat died. She said, sorry to hear that. You know, how old was he? I said, he was 13. She said, wow, that's impressive. My dad still was 20. I said, mine didn't. <laughs> didn't really know we were competing. I don't know. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a